So my name's Dennis Mannion. Um, I'm on Lake Wallace Station, which is a family owned and run um, property uh, in far western New South Wales. We've um, got three properties between the family, which we sort of all run as one. So we run generally merino sheep, but we've got a few white Suffolk rams and we run a few Dorper ewes now, and then goats and um, cattle. The merino will basically live behind the five play my fence with rue holes and that in it, whereas to uh, run a goat we basically do a 890 30 hinge joint fence with three barbs, one on the bottom of the mesh, one on the top of the mesh and one on the top of the dropper. And that sort of keeps 80 or 90 percent of your vermin out as well. We've done about half of that at the moment and we've got another half to do, so we're hoping to do that within the next 12 months. There was a set of cattle yards, but there wasn't a set of sheep yards there. We could use the bones of the yards, but we had to put in the draft and the, um, everything else to make it. We sort of work goats in it, and then every time we got a mob of cattle in, we'd have to strip the goat section of it out and then run a mob of cattle through and then put the goat section back in when we, or sheep as well, we run sheep through there. So yeah, we sort of needed to build a decent set of yards there. I got a graph book and I just started sketching yards basically. I drew the old set of yards and then just tried to incorporate how we could make a good set of yards off of it that would flow and work with the old set. It had to be a big set of yards to handle a lot of goats and um, I just drew it up and then um, I went to Parcel Panels and he computerised the design and then, um, yeah, he sent out the yard kit, we built them and, um, yeah, we've just gradually improved them and changed them and we've put shades on, we've put more water in them. We muster the paddock and then put them in the spelling yard and they go in there for a couple of hours or if it's hot, you walk them in the evening when it's cool just so they handle the trip a little bit better. They mother up, the kids get a feed and then you walk them and then they get to the main yards and they're a lot better, healthy animal for it. To muster goats in big areas you need two or three aircraft, you need six or eight people on the ground, you've got you know people cooking and there's a lot of people to keep busy when you're using one draft. Like you've got your drafter and then three people working a gate each, but as you get further back down the yard, sort of everyone's looking for a job. So with the two bugles, with the lifter on the end of it, and the way the scales are set up as well, so you can use the inside bugle to draft, way on the outside, you can be drafting, tagging, you can load a truck while you're still drafting. Just tried to make it that you can keep as many people busy constantly. So having the proper setup with the yards means that we can improve our genetic selection on our goats. The benefit of having a good set of yards is you can sort of pull all your wieners off, put them aside and then bring them back around and then go through them again and then split them and then split them again and then you can sort of put them out as you need them and in as you need them and um, yeah if you get um, a good line that are ready to be marked and tagged that you're going to keep as breeders they go straight through the other um, bugle and then you start processing them like that. One of the best bits of infrastructure that we bought to help our goat set up was probably the lifter. You're working in the shade and the wind, like it's, you always get a nice breeze in there. And yeah, the other probably, um, one of the other better bits of infrastructure that we bought that made life easy is a four-deck loading ramp. Um, we've got two of them now and uh, they're portable so we basically don't use a truck unless we've got a three or four-deck ramp because we've done it for a lot of years and uh, yeah it would have saved a lot of heartache if we bought it a bit earlier. <laughs> With the um, weigh scale setup that we've got at the moment we weigh bulk goats at a time like we if they're sort of smaller goats weigh 30 or big goats weigh 20. So we try and weigh a sample of goats or sometimes a whole load uh, before they go so we can sort of find out how the yields are going with them. 
But yeah, if we'd sort of weigh in just to get an idea on what sort of size goat that we need to send, we'll do a draft, put the smallest goat in there if it's big enough or the rest of the mob's big enough. Another really important piece of infrastructure is your roads. Um, truck drivers used to hate coming out here. We'd put a lot of grids in to help their trip so they're not pulling up every five minutes. And we clay top sand hills, we take corners out, we straighten roads. We put a heap of time and effort into making the trip up here as best as it possibly can be. So truckies like coming back. The infrastructure comes down to building better yards, building better fence lines, building better roads, just every little bit of work that you put into running a goat improves your whole enterprise. And once you've put that infrastructure in to run a goat, you can run multiple species of animals. There's not too much you can't run behind goat infrastructure. So if you want to run a door for your can, if you want to run cattle, you can basically run anything with goat infrastructure.